Kimberly, I wanted to turn to you, uh, you know, to share kind of what's been happening in Louisville, what you've been going through. This has been just such a, you know, a crazy and historic and horrific week. Uh, and, you know, we're, caught, we're in Lexington, we're in Central Kentucky, we're not as close to it as you are. And I want to just hear from you kind of what's, what's happening there uh, in the wake of the Breonna Taylor decisions. Where do I start and what do I say? Actually, um, right now in Louisville, it's very, very contentious. All eyes on Louisville, all across the country, across the world. Um, the stage is set. Um, and not only is it the brutality of the police department, it's also understanding the system that's in place right here in Louisville, Kentucky and all of Kentucky actually. And when you go back and you actually look at the laws, you find out that these laws were constructed to make sure that it's black citizens would always be involved with the law. I have been looking at the 502 live streamers, shout out to them because of the simple fact, this is where you get the real news. Not the, the mass media chop, chop block, but the real news of how I've seen for myself the brutality of the police just throwing protesters down. And so now we have the question about who's an actual protester versus who is an actual uh, rioter. It was very demeaning. Uh, very embarrassing for our state representative, Attica Scott, to even be arrested uh, for supposedly being one of the ones uh, who threw a flare into the Louisville Free Public Library that's downtown. She's been one of the ones that's actually stood up and uh, tried to get funding for our public libraries. Um, as a Black woman, it's, it's disheartening. And as Malcolm X said, the most disrespected woman in America is the black woman. When we speak, it, and, and people don't really understand what's going on, but I would like to explain to you in, in, in the short amount of time as I can. For many, many years, as a black person, your voice is not heard. I have gone up the ranks in corporate America, sitting at tables that I couldn't speak at, um, being demeaned, being ostracized if I did speak up. And then you don't want to speak up too much because then you are known as the angry black woman. People don't get back with you or don't want to discuss a subject because they don't feel like it's important. But this is important. And why has it come to this now? When I was born, I was born just a few months before Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated. So I don't know what it feels like to go to the white water fountain or the black water fountain, as they used to say, colored. But I would like to give everyone a little shred of history here. They call it Injustice Square. It used to be called Jefferson Square, right across the street from Metro City Hall here in Louisville. And I just found out yesterday how ironic it is that when you owe taxes, you could bring your slaves right there and sell them to pay your taxes. The same square that the monument and memorial is for Breonna Taylor. This is the compound for the whole movement behind Breonna Taylor. So we all know that there is a mass cover up. We understand that it wasn't going to go our way and justice be served. There is no justice. And as a black woman in America, primarily here in Kentucky, I blame most of this, if not all of this, on the most racist senator that we have ever had in Kentucky, and it is Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell has been tone deaf on everything that is happening in his state 
that he is supposed to lead. He has not come down to Injustice Square like Amy McGrath has to talk with people, to see what's going on. When it comes to an African-American group, you never see him. He feels that our votes are not important. So I just wanna say to everyone, as we go through this journey, this movement, and I like to make it clear that when you see people wearing Black Lives Matter t-shirts or bracelets as I have on, it doesn't mean that we are affiliated with the organization. There is an organization, Black Lives Matter, and then there is the movement, Black Lives Matter. No life can matter until Black lives can matter.